It's Toby with Bimodal, and we're going to do a quick tech talk on uh, wheel torque, speeds, gear ratios, and get into the advantages and disadvantages of Elevate being a wheel motor topology. So we got a lot of numbers here and a graph, but it's pretty, pretty simple. Um, what you really care about to move a vehicle is wheel torque. Elevate has the same wheel torque no matter what gear you're in. So if we look at the continuous column here of 50 newton meters or the peak column of 70 newton meters, that is how much torque you have the wheel, at the wheel with Elevate. Mid drive is a little more complicated because you have a gear ratio between the motor and your wheel. Um, so depending on what gear you're in, whether you're in granny gear or your tall gear, um, you're going to have different wheel torques. So a mid drive here clearly has an advantage when you're in granny gear or some of the easier to pedal gears. Um, you get over 100 newton meters of wheel torque. However, on an e-bike, most of the time you're not in your granny gear. You're in a higher gear um, and your vehicle speed in this column here is probably usually above seven miles per hour. Anytime you're in one of those faster speeds or higher gears, you actually have more wheel torque with Elevate than you do with a mid-drive. Um, so this, this is a really important distinction. So if you're in a very high gear, let's say you're in your 11th or 12th gear, and you're trying to get started with a mid-drive up a hill, uh, you forgot to downshift, no one ever does that, um, you only have 25 newton meters of wheel torque from your mid-drive, whereas Elevate you can get 70 newton meters of starting torque. So this is a huge advantage. Um, and again, back to the speed, most of the time on an e-bike, you're moving a bit faster. And so there's, there's a few cases where climbing up walls in mid-drive is going to perform better. Um, however, we have customers telling us that they're riding with their friends on a full power turbo Levo and the, the friend on the full power turbo Levo cannot keep up with them. Um, so this is a good problem that, that our customers are having. It's pretty exciting. Um, so we're going to go into this chart, which kind of explains the same thing. Um, just talk about a couple intersections. So we have these two gold lines, solid for continuous, dashed for peak. Um, and those represent elevate wheel torque here. So 50 and 70. The red line is mid-drive wheel torque, um, which drops with gear ratio. We have our gear ratio on the bottom x-axis. So where those intersect, um, around gear 5 for the peak torque and around gear 7 for the continuous torque is where Elevate starts to have an advantage. So if we look at those intersections here, the first intersection is around uh, you know, 7, 8 miles per hour. If I take my cursor to the right and look at the speed. The second intersection is down here and that's around 12 miles per hour. Um, so if, if you're kind of in that 7 to 12 mile, mile per hour range, Elevate will start to have a pretty strong advantage over mid-drive. So again, this is like you're going up a 10% or 15% grade fire road. Um, you're really going to fly up with, with Elevate. Or if you're riding some, some rolling single track, again, Elevate's going to feel much faster than a mid-drive. Um, so those are sort of the gearing advantages of, of Elevate. Also, you have less wear through your cassette and your chain. Um, and on this image on the right, you can see the Elevate backside of the drive motor. Um, and you can see the gears, the red couple first gears uh, highlighted here are the ones that a mid-drive will have an advantage in. Anytime you're in a smaller gear, kind of starting maybe around gear four with the CLO arrow, um, Elevate is going to have a, a strong torque advantage at the wheel. Hope this helps and happy riding.